Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Java Lambda Expressions. In this video, we'll be introducing you to the concept of Lambda Expressions in Java and explaining how they work. This tutorial is designed for beginners, so don't worry if you have no previous experience with Java. Lambda Expressions were added in Java 8 and are a way to write short blocks of code that take in parameters and return a value. They are similar to methods, but they do not need a name and can be implemented right in the body of a method. The simplest Lambda expression contains a single parameter and an expression. The syntax for this is parameter-expression. If you want to use more than one parameter, you can wrap them in parentheses like this. Parameter 1, Parameter 2, Dash Expression. One of the coolest places where lambdas shine is when working with Java collections. We can use lambdas along with the new Stream API to perform various operations on collections like filtering, mapping, and reducing elements. Let's take a look at the code we have here. We start with a list of integers, ranging from 1 to 10. The task is to find the sum of all the even numbers from this list. Now, without using traditional loops, we'll see how we can achieve this efficiently using Java streams and lambdas. To find the sum of even numbers from this list, we'll leverage the power of Java streams. Streams provide a powerful functional style approach to processing collections in Java. Here's how it works, we call the stream method on the list of numbers to convert it into a stream. This opens up a plethora of stream operations. See how we chained methods together using dots? This is the magic of Java streams. Now, let's break down these stream operations step by step. First, we define our list of integers using the arrays as list method. The list contains the numbers 1 to 10. Simple, right? Now, let's move on to the exciting part. To find the sum of even numbers from this list, we'll leverage the power of Java streams. Streams provide a powerful functional style approach to processing collections in Java. Here's how it works. We call the stream method on the list of numbers to convert it into a stream. This opens up a plethora of stream operations. Take a look. Now, let's break down these stream operations step by step. First, we use the filter method with a lambda expression to filter out only the even numbers from the list. The condition end n% 2 equals 0 checks if the number is even or not. Next, we use the reduce method to perform the sum of the filtered even numbers. The reduce method takes an identity value, here, 0, and a binary operator, lambda expression, a, b, dash a plus b, to accumulate the elements. In this case, the reduce operation adds each even number to the previously accumulated sum. And here comes the moment of truth. We store the result of the sum in the variable sum of even numbers. Finally, we use a simple system dot out, dot print statement to display the result. I hope you enjoyed this little journey into the world of Java streams and lambdas. Remember, using streams can lead to more expressive and efficient code. Don't forget to practice and explore more on your own. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting Java tutorials. Happy coding and see you in the next video.